Okay, now that we've had an overview of the uh, basic layout of the PD player interface, let's sort of go ahead and load in a clip. There are several ways you can do this, uh, but the easiest way really is actually just to go into a uh, folder. And uh, if you have a folder with a series of frames, you can just go ahead and load in that folder right into your uh, sequence. Now you can do it several ways. You can just drop in that whole folder like that. And basically what you'll see is that there's a progress bar happening at the bottom here that basically just shows that it's loading in those frames as it's reading them off the disk um, or the network. So it's basically limited to the speed of your hard drive or your network, etc. Now that I have a clip loaded into the scene, uh, I'm able to play it. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. Remember that based on what I was telling, talking to you guys earlier, the um, I'm only going to be showing this at 5 frames a second, but it's going to actually be playing at 24 frames a second. So I can now go ahead and play this clip, and it'll be playing the clip uh, forward as it's going here and uh, keep playing. It's just very basic. RAM player shows the clip that's going in here. Really, really uh, basic. You have the ability to scrub your frames by going on your timeline here, or you can go on the, on the frame here and scrub it as well. So if I, if I uh, left click, I can basically go in and just uh, within this window here, uh, within the workspace, I can scrub it as well. I can also move the clip around and you'll know later why that is a useful thing as well as bring up some other uh, by right click some other properties I may want to have in here. So that gives you the basic outline of just playing a clip inside a PD player. The other way that you can also do it is to uh, go ahead and uh, try to add this uh, layer uh, from the file uh, loading here. And the way to remove this layer, now I've got a, basically a layer in here, the way to remove it is to hit Control Delete, and now you've basically got a blank canvas. And I can go in here, I can do Add Recent, which should add it into me right here, or I can do Add Layer, and I can do um, Add This Directory here, and I just select the first frame and it's going ahead and loading that in there as well. So uh, same thing, very basic way of just put a, uh, loading your clips into here.